Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Fantasy Booking AEW here on Zop Gaming. I'm Tim. I'm Adam. And yes, we took a few weeks off because I had nothing else planned for Fantasy Booking that I had to figure out. I, you know, it's okay. And you know, Christmas. And New Year. And Betty Roy dying. <laughs> we miss you, Betty White. You know... <laughs> I don't think she actually died. I think she just transcended this... this she was the, just like, I must move on. You know in Stargate... My when, work here is finished. Do you know about like the ancients in Stargate? How you basically can ascend to a higher... Pl- I'm just pretty sure that's what happened with Betty White. All right. That's All what right. I, I'm, I'm taking it at. Okay. But anyway, back on track to this. We are welcome back to Fantasy Booking. The well, last episode was Winter is Coming, where we crowned a new... AEW TNT champion, yes, and a new AEW World Champion, and Brian Danielson capturing the the world, and Malachi Black capturing the TNT Championship. So now we're on our way, our build to Revolution. We will be doing Battle of the Belts, but we're not doing it in the same time period. No, it'll AW. happen. Um, we'll still do those at some point, but like we're kind of like. Yeah, we're gonna do them on our our way. Yeah. So there may not there may be one this quarter. There may not be one until the next quarter. We'll kind of decide. Yeah. We mm. I, I prefer as like Adam actually has a, a role in this because he says no. Tim. <laughs> it's when you make that decision. Yeah, when I make that decision because Adam thinks booking one show is too much booking. Yeah, look, Adam. Look, man. I I can only book and do everything else regarding this channel with the amount of time that I have per day. Yeah, I'm booking like four shows. And how much time per day do you have right now? And I ha- and I have a ch- my own channel I'm doing. And, yeah. And how many weeks had it been since you put content on it? That one? Uh, just past Monday. For it, the third week in a row. Yeah. Pat on the back. But because before that's... that was how many weeks? Oh, I have no clue. Okay. I try to put some content up every single day. Yeah, but you're a gaming channel. I'm a writing channel. I can go once a week. I know. It sucks to be you. I know. <laughs> Which is ironically, it's ironic, gaming channels. Once you get established and you, you hit your mark, you can kind of go. I can slow down. I can, can do you... once, twice, three, four times a week. Yeah, so like you have to, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, so we have a new, a little bit of a new format. We kind of figured out in the first few episodes, we can do five matches, like our five match card, in like fifteen minutes. Yeah, we did winner and cut, winners and coming less than fifteen minutes. I know. I mean, there's no real many that many segments or anything, but still. So we're adding a few more matches, and more cards to this, just to help you know flesh out the rest of our huge roster. Oh, of course. Um. So, but let's get, we're going to go right into it. The first new addition to this is we're adding two dark card matches um, at the front. Yes. Yeah, nothing just to get people wins. Certain people we want to get I wins. I mean, if you want to pay attention to these matches, you can go to uh, <laughs> Zob Gaming fa- Fantasy Booking AEW Dark. Uh, it appears on a completely different network. Yep. But we're not allowed to tell you about it. Sorry about that. So we well that the network we can't mention that we can mention our programming on <laughs> yeah. it. like brand new episodes of Nua are up there right now. <laughs> sure. Anyway, so our first dark matchup we have Darby Allen taking on Jeff Parks with Darby Allen taking the win, which means Jeff Burke. Wait, I see that it's that, Perk. Wait, that's wrong. Jeff Perk loses here, but he's not even in the match. I know. <laughs> it's Spe- weird. Spelling mistake. This is why you check your script before you get printed out. <laughs> anyway, our next match- dark matchup is AZM taking on Rebel. Not Reba, Rebel. No, no. Don't you mean Reba, not Rebel? No, it's Rebel, not Reba. <sighs> okay, all yes. right. And AZM takes the win here with Rebel taking the lost. And those are the two dark matches. That's all you're going to ever get from a dark match. Yes. It's just to get wins. We're not putting. I'm not putting any more thought into them. Because... Not right now, anyway. No, no, just nothing. Never plan to put any more thought into them. Okay, all right. And then next, next, next bat, next bat, and bat, and I have like a full like A to be dark. No. I know how you work. No, I have other stuff I need to get done. Anyway, so our opening matchup, 
we have Prince Balor, AJ Styles, and the Good Brothers coming out to the ring. Balor says, this is the real Bullet Club. And, this, and when he left, Adam, yeah, he left the Bullet Club, he handpicked AJ for his replacement. I mean, it makes sense. AJ was a great person to take over for him. And he says, since then, there has been no other true leader of the Bullet Club. Wow. And he sent, gets it off to uh, AJ, who says things between Kenny, Adam Cole, the Young Bucks, can and will be fine. But they got to sort a few things out. Like who the boss is, and that being him, since, the, since Finn says so. Yes. And to prove why he's the boss, he is making his AEW Dynamite debut tonight in the feature contest against Frankie Kazarian. Oh, we're getting Kaz versus AJ Styles. Yes. That is going to be a throwback. Yes, we are. Oh, and wait until we get to that matchup. Okay. But with that, they clear out, and we get into our first matchup of the night. And I'm going to let you take the name, because I'm going to butcher that one, this one girl's name. So. All right, first match of the evening is a women's singles match with Dakota Eve taking on Zeddy Zhang. Uh, the standard match, back and forth action with Zeddy getting some of the offense, but in, uh, sorry, getting offense in, but Dakota gets the win with the TTYL. Yep, getting a good victory there for her. And then after the match, Dakota grabs a mic and she tells the crowd she got off to a rough start in AEW, but that is going to change. Good for her. Good for her. I hope it certainly does. Yes. So our next matchup after this is the American Wolves taking on Top Flight. This matchup, the American Wolves just win. This is just there to get the American Wolves some wins, get them out there, build them up in front of the people, a more bigger stream audience, just so when we do use them in a storyline, people are recognizing and they're ready for it. Good, good. And then we cut to a segment. The Dark Order, Adam. Yes. What is the Dark Order doing? They're out and about wandering the city looking for Adam Page. Silver is crying out. Crying out to everywhere that he Adam. can. Page! Adam! 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 Colt, Adam! Colt's oh. looking through the trash cans. Adam! I mean, Adam! Actually, they're not even on the streets. They're actually in an alley. <laughs> I mean, but it makes sense with how Paige has been lately. It, yeah. You're probably going to find him there, or in a bar. Yeah, I don't know why they're not looking at a bar. Maybe they've, they, actually, they, maybe they've gone to all the bars in the city. I, who knows? But, or, I mean, they could have also just decided to start there. Who knows? This is, is the Dark Order. That's very true. Um, they start in weird places. But hopefully, I guess we'll come back to them later on to see if they can find Adam Page. But we have another matchup. We have... Tay Conti, the TBS champion, taking on a fan favorite. Yes. Returning to AEW after a long absence, Maki Ito. Absolutely love her. And in the finish, Maki goes for her jumping DDT, but Tay just holds her in the air. It's like grabs her, picks her up, and tosses her into the ropes, and then converts it into the Tay KO. For the win. This was not for the TBS championship. No. Just a one-on-one matchup. Tay, the champ, gets another great victory. And Makio is, well, she's out because it's a Tay KO. Yeah, she, she's knocked out. Yeah. Post-matchup, Tay is celebrating when Jade Cargill, the undefeated Jade Cargill, attacks and beats her up. Anna comes out with a chair to chase her off. After checking out our friends, they head to the back. That's why Anna wasn't with the Dark Order looking for Paige. Yeah. God. Okay. Of course, John didn't realize that. It's no, just, not at all. He's just so used to calling Anna, but, you know. And Stu was hiding. Every time. <laughs> I don't know why, because she wasn't there, but he was still hiding. Oh, he, yeah, it's okay. Well, it's okay. But we get back um, after they head to the back and making sure Tay was okay. Maki, you know, Gets up and she actually looks around, realizing, finally realizing the match is over. So she starts to perform for everyone. Okay. Okay. At least, at least she's not. She's gone past her throwing a fit when she loses. Exactly. She's just. She wants to perform, and the fans love it. So yeah. why not? 
Um, so Adam, here, well, I'll give you this next matchup for you to go there. We're heavy on the women's division. Exactly. This episode. Uh, next up is Cora J taking on Ryo Mizunami. <laughs> yeah. Ryo dominates the match with her experience, but Cora gets in a little offense, little by little. Um, when Cora makes her comeback, to Ryo shuts her down. She takes her time and sets up the double, double leg drop. Cora counters and hits Sister Sin for the win. Your winner, Cora Jade there. Big win for her. Huge win. Um, S- good for her. Maybe, taking advantage of her, the... One mistake can cost you. Exactly. So, exactly. But good for her. Not a good big win for an upcoming star. I think we can have some big things. But Adam... We're coming to the back now. We're hearing from Frankie Kazarian here. That's right. You want to take this one? Frankie is talking about his match with AJ Styles and them having unfinished business going back years upon years. And I just lost my place. Okay, there we go. He gets to elevate himself in AEW by knocking off the Phenomenal One in his debut. Frankie is looking to take AJ down. Not just take AJ, AJ down, but make a mark in the singles division. Absolutely. Can you imagine the what a win over AJ Styles on his debut match would do for Frankie? I think that would elevate him up to probably the top five. Oh, absolutely. Plus, it would uh, really put a, a damper on <laughs> kind of AJ and Finn's claims as being like the top bullet club. Uh, who? You, you mean oh, the, sorry. The Prince. Prince. The Prince. Prince. Prince Ballers. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so we're going back to the um, the ring for a matchup. We have FTR out there taking on Fe- Fuego del Sol. Fuego? Fuego. 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 It's the, fire. Um, del Sol and Lee Moriori. Yep, this is just another matchup for the FTR to get a win. And they got a win. Yes. Uh, the bell rang. They hit the big rig. Matchup. No. <laughs> Fuego Del Sol no. took the pin. Yeah. Lee Moriarty just stood there and went, oh my God, that happened. No, not necessarily. Oh. But it's a, a quick matchup. Not as quick as our next matchup will be in a second. But still enough for uh, it's just to get FTR some wins because we're um, as we get to them to a feud going forward. But we're going to the backstage now. Uh, Flip is out back shouting, book Flip. Book flip. He yes. is looking for as many people to book him as possible right yeah. now. Yes. After all these years, we're still having him do the book flip gimmick because we loved it. Absolutely. Um, when Cody attacks out of nowhere, um, leveling him and then yelling at him, saying, You're not better than him. You beat me by luck. It's sheer luck. Oh, yeah. And absolutely. He walks off. Cody goes off on him and then leaves. And then leaves. And before we cut back to there, we see. Um, Cassie Lee and Jesse McKay of the I Inspiration or I Inspiration? I Inspiration. I Inspiration coming in. Uh, we we're gonna linger on this here. Um, oh, yeah. They're talking like, oh, so this is AEW, all elite wrestling. McKay says, how can it be elite? There, there's no women's tag division, and they just walk off and gone. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we're going to cut back to the ring. And if you thought the last match was short, this one is going to be even shorter. Because it's Miro taking on local talent. It literally says here, local, local talent. talent. Or just local. Yeah. Bell rings. Um, Miro destroys him in seconds. Again, just a win for Miro. Miro wins. Um, building him back up after dropping the TNT championship. After coming back from injuries. Oh, Adam. Adam, I'm getting some yeah. word. word. It looks like oh. we we got we found Hangman Page. Absolutely, Hangman Page is wandering around the city park with an open container, not even in a bag. Like he is just walking around with a bottle of well, whiskey, uh, whiskey, uh, some Tennessee whiskey. We cannot specify brands on this channel, uh, and the police ha- are just getting him to try to put the bottle down. Uh, we're fi- oh here here the the boys come the the dark order finally show up Alex and and John take uh, Adam Page and just push him away from the cop yep. they they surround him Evil Uno comes over and just starts talking with the cop and the cop respects that he wears a suit yep <laughs> yes on, we we learn this from Barney Stinson oh of course suits suits yes absolutely. 
Um, uh, they do finally get him, uh, get the officer to agree that they'll take care of him. They're just going to make sure to get him home. Uh, oh, yes. And uh, Colt helped out with Evil Uno on that one. Yes, because he's no longer a pumpkin. Yes. In this universe, he's not a pumpkin. He never became a pumpkin yeah. here. So, um, but yes, um, after they convinced him, uh, uh, oh, what's this? It's a uh, negative one. Um, is there? Did you? It's kind of late for him to be out. I, it's seriously. But he, when you run the, an order, I mean, you, you kind of make sure your sense. boys. But um, yeah, Paige brings him over. Oh, he, he just smacked him, and Paige passed out. And Paige is out. Uh, sh- I think. Yep, yep. Silver's picking him up. And they're going. They're yep. on their way. Well, and hopefully this time they'll take him somewhere where he can get some help. Yeah. Because he clearly needs it. He needs to get himself sobered up. Yeah. Come on. All right. We're going back to the ring. It's time for our feature contest of the night. Do- AJ Styles, Adam. Yes. Versus Frankie Kazarian. We've heard this match before. We've seen this match before, but not in AEW. Nope. And a classic AJ and Frankie match from Teen. N A days. Well, of course. It looks like it could go either way when Frankie counters the phenomenal elbow and goes right for the wave of the future. AJ gets his leg on the bottom rope when he goes for the pin. Frankie pulls him away, pins him, but AJ kicks out. Frankie sets up the finish to go for his finish again, but AJ hits a Pele kick and then it's a Styles clash. And one, two, three, AJ Styles is your winner. What? In his debut match. But Adam... Absolutely oh, what's crazy. What's happening there? What's happening after that? Uh, Kenny, Adam Cole and the Bucks come running down to the ring and just start attacking AJ immediately. Uh, it looks like they're setting up the... Oh, yeah, that's the uh, BTE trigger. Yep. Uh, ba- Balor and the Good Brothers come up over the fence, out of the crowd, and they save AJ from the... Uh, Ah, uh, from it, <laughs> AJ still ducks under a solo V trigger coming from uh, Kenny Omega. Yep. Uh, goes for the Pele kick, but Rio pulls Kenny out of the ring? She's tiny. Yes, yeah, she's strong, I, though. I mean, it, if I wouldn't, if my eyes didn't deceive me, I would have said that Kenny looked more like he slipped out of the ring. No, I'm pretty sure Rio just, ri- like, threw yanked him out saving him now they're the kenny's bullet club i guess we could refer to them yeah the the kbc sure (laughs) the uh, omega club (laughs) the kbc it's retreating but what's this real's pausing halfway up she's looking to the ring um is does she look torn to you adam i i can't really tell i'll be honest yeah uh, oh it might be constipation no but she's going but she's going with kenny but for a second there, I swear, she kind of looked like she wanted to go back to the ring. I mean, she also could have been going back for, a, you know, a couple of swipes of her own. Who knows? Um, but this thing with the Bullet Club, it doesn't look like it's going to be solved as easily as AJ said I don't on. think so either. I don't think but, so. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a little latest episode of our fantasy booking. Comment down below, what do you think is going on with the Bullet Club? What is it going to take to get Hangman Page to stop drinking? Let's go all down there. Um, Adam, how long have you been listening to this? Uh, 18 ish minutes. Really? Yeah. I added all this and we still are under 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're um, over 15. Yes, but I thought we were. Well, whatever. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening for about 18 minutes. So, Adam, I'm going to let you do the closing. I want to thank everyone for checking out this week's episode. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Join that notification squad by ringing the bell and clicking on all notifications. Heck, you know what? Ring the bell and click on some notifications. I don't care. Just get the notifications, guys. Adam just wants to be over 110 and I'm, stay there. I, I would love for that to happen. Instead of dropping Tell down. a friend also. And leave a comment down below. We want to thank you, every one of you for checking out what uh, the, the show this week. It's just, been great. He just wants to stop dropping back down to under 100. <laughs> it, it, would be, it would be nice. Bye, everybody.